Hey, this is going to be my last Labo video uh, until they come out with Zelda and Mario VR. Uh, so I've built everything. This bird, I don't know, that might have taken t two hours. This elephant, at least, at least two hours. Uh, this little mask is nothing. That takes just a couple minutes. Um, camera was under an hour. Blaster might have been this might have been three hours. This thing's pretty complicated The headset Probably didn't take long. I don't know that might have been I don't know that might have been 30 minutes. Who knows then there's this this pinwheel thing So I haven't tried the pinwheel or on the ground the reason this is zoomed out is there's this This pedal thing and it it blows air at you. I haven't tried the games for this pedal or this pinwheel So that's what this video is for um, this pinwheel thing you you can build really fast, but this stupid giant pedal this thing took over two hours for sure. There's a lot of going a lot going on in here, and there's a rubber band in the back. Um, there's a lot of stuff inside of it. I was watching. So what I do when I build these things is I watch TV or you know watch something on Netflix. I was watching on Netflix, Leaving Neverland Part One and Part Two while I was building this thing. That shit was insane. I never realized Michael Jackson had kids spending the night with him alone, just Michael and the well, I should say little boys, because it was always little boys. And uh, he had them in his bed with him, in his room with him, like multiple nights in a row. The parents aren't even there. I don't know why the parents allowed that to happen, but these kids would spend the night with Michael how how many hours just just the little boy and Michael together nobody seemed to think that was weird nobody seemed to give a shit one of them was seven years old seven so I was a big Michael Jackson fan when I was a kid I would watch the thriller video over and over and over on a loop and so I I always kind of doubted all these allegations I wasn't sure but after seeing that documentary holy shit I believe it for sure for sure, it was insane. But I don't know if you've heard, but uh, I'm gonna put this back where it needs to be. Michael Jackson has actually responded to the allegations from the grave. So let's go to that right now. I'd like to address this horrible HBO documentary about me. It's filled with lies and ignorance. I would never hurt children. I love sleeping with little boys, that's all. Just a grown man sleeping with a little boy. Of course I fuck them kids, come on. It's so obvious. I was a good pedophile too, huh? I built a whole amusement park and a candy store. And I said, your kids like candy? And they'd be like, yeah, yeah, we like it. I'm like, yeah, you like it, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, tell your mom to get the fuck out of here. Tee then they did. I was like, oh shit. Didn't y'all notice I only slept with little cute boys? Not little girls, not little ugly boys, just cute little motherfucking tight ass mm, mm, boys. Well, better get back to heaven. I got in because I apologized right before I died. Damn the rules. Bye. Tee hee hee. Uh, yeah, that was hilarious. That was by a comedian named Kyle Dunnigan on YouTube. I recommend subscribing to him because he has a lot of hilarious videos like that. Um, so, let's move on to Labo. Enough with child molestation. Uh, so, let me stick this thing in here. Uh, oh shit, it wants me to... I gotta say, this Labo shit, there's definitely friction. We use the term friction when uh, VR is a pain in the ass. There's a lot of shit going on here. You gotta like detach the joy cons from the, the 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 screen, then get the screen in. Then you gotta figure out, all right, where the hell do I put these joy cons in this fucking thing? So like, all right, there's, I gotta slip a joy con in here. Am I gonna do it correctly? Cause like for example, um, with the camera, I couldn't get the zoom to work. Um, so I don't know if I put the wrong Joy-Con in, put it at the wrong angle, I, I don't know. But hopefully, uh, hopefully this will work. Um, okay, that seems like it's in right. And 
so I'm gonna try some games that, that just use this this pedal thing. And hopefully this shit works. Alright. Um Okay. Took me to discover. I'm gonna go to hop dodge. Oh wait, I need all I need the, the volume up. Uh it's all the way down. There we go. Going to hop dodge. And see the, the video on the screen is going to show what hop dodge is, but it's not, it's obviously not me playing it. Because there's no way for me to output my gameplay at the same time. So let's go to hop dodge. I have this strap, but I'm holding it up just because it's heavy and uh, I don't want to get a big mark on my forehead. I need to put a, uh, a cushion in here. I have extra cushions, I just haven't thought about it. So now it's, it's giving me instructions to slide that Joy-Con into the pedal. Alright. I'm... Um, oh yeah, so there's different difficulty levels. The default right now is easy. Jump to start. So I'm looking down at a frog. Uh, Alright, so yeah, that made the frog jump. And I feel wind coming at me, so they're, there's, they're balls being shot at me, so I just jumped over them. Now I'm gonna... Uh, that's a lot of wind, actually. That's pretty cool. So, uh... That, this bear thing is letting out these balls. Now the balls are coming from the left side. And I jumped over them. Now they're going over to the right. Jump those. Now I'm gonna jump these ones coming at the center. So far, this is, uh, too easy, but it is on easy difficulty. Okay. And jump. They just... It says record, 100 meters. Jump to start, alright. He just kept sending them straight at me, or to the left or the right. Now I'm getting... Oh, now he's sending them at me faster. He sent two in a row. Now I got two in a row again. Alright. Now I'm gonna... He sent some from the left. Now I gotta jump that one and then jump again. I gotta say, this is pretty boring. <laughs> Alright, jump again. Now I got... That was three in a row. Now I think you can use this pedal with the... with the bird game. Now it says record 200 meters, jump to start. So I guess it... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, I gotta jump. Ah, oh, I hit close. Well, what the fuck ever. Um, I closed it. God damn it. It says easy 200 meters, so maybe it'll let me continue where I was. See, like, I accidentally went to a menu, and then one of the options was close. And I was thinking, like, well, that'll close the menu. But no, that isn't. That closes the game. Oh man, it's starting me at zero meters. You get three lives, like three hearts. Uh, I can't do this again. So, uh, you can see the video and see what this is. It's really basic. You just jump these balls. So I'm going to exit that. And let's see, is there anything else for this pedal? I'm exiting back to the main menu. They're going to that discover shit again. I'm not falling for that. Um, so, I'll go to VR Plaza and see what pedal shit there is. I, I know you can use the pedal with the bird. Um, but I want to find something that's like, for now, just the pedal. Okay, there are four VR Plaza pedal games. Windy Blowaway. Alright, let's see what this is. Destroy them all. Wind pedal extend. Uh, okay, so balls are coming at me. And when I press the pedal, it pushes this... This, uh... This arm that has a flat end to it. Uh, it pushes it and knocks, knocks these balls up in the air. But up in the air, there are... They're big giant stationary balls that look sort of like basketballs, and I guess I'm I'm trying to hit them. Oh, and uh, okay, the the angle of the platform 
it angles based on my head movement. So that's how you would uh, aim for specific targets. These big balls are just like your target. All right. I'm going to exit that. That's how long I spend in that is about all you would want to spend in these things. Windy Balloon. Again, this is VR Plaza, which is basically all shit. I'm swimming in shit right now. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Collect the items? Wind pedal float. Um, so doing this is making a ball, uh, balloon float? But I don't under- Okay, moving my head makes- Yeah, moving my head makes the, uh, the balloon- Alright. If you touch anything, the balloon pops. Moving my head makes the balloon move left or right. Okay. Ah, oh, and I just- I just ran into something. All right, I'll go to I'll go to the right this time. Uh, what is the goal here? Okay, there's people at the top. I guess I wanna I wanna touch the people with the balloon. Uh, I guess. There's there was a mermaid and like. A sumo wrestler, and there, oh, down here there are more of them that I'm supposed to collect, I guess. There's a cheerleader, and a robot, and some sort of sea diver. Yeah, this is... Alright, I can't do that anymore. I can't, I can't take it. Alright, now the windy driving. Windy driving. Uh, wind pedal accelerate, tilt head to steer. Uh, okay. The wind pedal's making me jump. So how do I go forward? Yeah, it's just making me jump. It's making me go faster and jump? Uh, yeah, this isn't... I'm exiting this. It's not... It's hard to control. Uh, Windy Shield Sharpshooter. Detach the Joy-Con controllers from the console and connect them wirelessly. That means, I think it means they want me to use this one, too. Uh, all right. L is launch object, wind pedal is shield. Uh, oh, if I press the, if I hold this pedal down, it puts up a shield all around me. That's actually pretty cool. Um... Oh, and I can fire... I'm firing at those same pink guys that are on the blaster level. And they have their own shields. So this is probably the coolest VR Plaza game I've seen. Because I have this shield mechanic. And I can fire at these guys, and they have a shield, and um, they're trying to shoot me. But aiming is hard. Like, it doesn't really, it can't really tell, oh, that's what it is. It's shooting where my head is facing, that's what it is. Alright, not where this controller is, because this controller is too stupid to know um, where the hell it is. Alright, I killed them all, so that was cool. Alright. That was the best one. Windy Shield Sharpshooter. Um, oh yeah, there's like a, a garage section where you can build like your own games and shit. I haven't messed with that, but that's probably cool. Alright. So now, I gotta figure out this, uh, this pinwheel shit. I think you use it with the bird or something. But watch this. This actually uh, hooks on here, and that's and you're supposed to blow on it. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna use this. There might be games that actually call for this specifically. I'm gonna look for that. I'll switch the scene to uh, the bird scene for now. Alright, uh, let's get out of VR Plaza, well, first, oh yeah, there are four, 
Pinwheel VR Plaza games. That might be the only ones. Okay, Pinwheel Blow. Don't forget to take regular rests, it says. Alright, let's go. Okay. Oh, I didn't put the Joy-Con in. The Joy-Con R. So I gotta take this pedal Joy-Con out. Shit. See, this is friction. This is the friction I was talking about. Like, alright. That you gotta, like, switch all this shit around. And it's, yeah, like, this thing wants to fall off. Stay on. Alright. Okay, is this thing on? Hopefully it is. Okay, so blow gently to spin the pinwheel. Okay, now when I blow, it, sh it shoots balls and there are like all these balls floating. Uh, I missed completely. Damn, this is tough. This is gonna make you lightheaded. Okay. Okay, I've had enough of that already. Yeah, I'm not gonna be too fond of this blowing shit. Pinwheel targets. Alright. So it's like a carnival where you have just a bunch of stuff sitting on shelves and you gotta hit it all. It says destroy as many as you can in a single blow. This would make you pass out, if you actually tried that. Man. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to do all that. Alright. Uh, pinwheel spinner. Um, spin it with the pinwheel. So it's like a mobile, like a baby's mobile type thing. Uh... What's the point of spinning it? It's just spinning around. Okay, there's a sumo wrestler over here saying, so hot, and then I blew a fan, and now he's like, oh, nice and cool. And there's a helicopter here. Okay, blowing at that makes it fly up into the air. All right, that's enough of that shit. Uh, pinwheel inflation. Inflate balloons with the pinwheel. Okay, so like blowing is extending this, uh, this inflation tube into these like balloons and when I blow them up, they uh, fly up into the air. Yeah, and I'm lightheaded. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that anymore. Um, how do I get out of here? I wanna get out of VR Plaza. Hmm, oh, close, there it is. Let's see. I don't see a pinwheel thing in the play area. But on the bird, there might be Bird dash. Let me go to bird. I think bird will use the pedal. But it's only asking me to do the, uh, the bird thing. Alright, let's just uh, forget about this pinwheel shit for now. I gotta fuck with this. It wants me to... Uh, Where's the minus? Here's the minus one. So now I gotta put the minus one in the bird's head. Um, and make the beak. Hopefully, hopefully that's, hopefully that's right. Oh yeah, and they're gonna want me to, uh, Slide this in. It's, I don't know how much that matters. Sliding it in. But alright. 
I want to find out if this pedal will do anything, because I heard it does. It might only be for the, uh, the bird, like, racing thing, not this casual. See, there's a slow, casual bird flying thing, which is, like, what's on the screen right now? That's, like, the slow, casual thing. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna try it. Uh, okay, squeeze the grips to start. Squeeze the grips to open the map. Okay, I don't need... Oh, blow on the pinwheel. Oh, shit, I could have done pinwheel. Oh, I didn't mean to close it. God damn it. See, there's that close thing, and that makes you think it's... See, close is right, is right in front of me. It makes me think it'll dis dismiss this squeeze grips to open the map thing. Okay, step on the wind pedal to speed up. Okay. Blow on the pinwheel to have the bird go... Work, to have the birds gather food. Well, I'd rather do the wind pedal. Uh, squeeze the grips to open the map. Alright, now the map is in front of me. Choose where you would like to start. Um, okay. You release the grips to go to where you want to start. So now I'm looking down at this bird. That's me. Let's try this pedal once I'm in the air. Um, okay, so I'm flapping, I'm going up higher, let me see what this does, so I definitely feel a lot of wind blowing on me, but it, I don't, oh wait, I now I know why, I don't have a Joy-Con in the stupid pedal, see this is a lot of shit you gotta remember, so I gotta put this plus Joy-Con in the pedal. Now maybe it'll work. Now maybe it'll work. Alright. Okay, now it's all fucked up as far as centering, so I gotta recenter. Now I'm recentered. Alright. Okay. Holy shit. It says you change the pedal mode, use the pedal to make gusts of wind. So what happened was propellers now I have propellers on on my wings. And now I'm going way faster. That's really cool. So now I'm flying toward one of those eggs, and uh, a chick came out, and it wants uh, it wants some bees. Um, oh yeah, I'm not even flapping the wings anymore, cause like, shit, I don't even need to flap my wings practically, cause of this propeller thing. So. Yeah, this bird game is pretty cool. I could actually see myself coming back into this and actually trying to like complete the whole the whole thing. Especially now that I can go faster. Um, so that's cool. This would help with the racing thing too. So I'm gonna exit out of this. Close. I'm not gonna fuck with the pinwheel. It just said to, to gather food or something. So maybe when you blow, it makes the birds that follow you... Oh, shit. I almost broke the bird's wing. It makes the birds that follow you, like, gather food for you, I think. I'm gonna go to Bird Dash. So I'm gonna try this pedal with Bird Dash. Because it seems like that would be more important. Squeeze the grips to start. Alright. Squeeze the grips to open the map. Alright. I'm gonna go to, uh, Careening Canyon Course. Oh, it doesn't want to let me do that. It only want to, wants to let me, like... Uh, choose where you would like to start. It does, it, it's not going to let me... Maybe I never, like, did the first course... At it. Oh, wait, there are two courses that are unlocked. I must have never finished um, Cramped Column Course, and that's why it won't let me go further. I'll go to Cramped Column Course. And this time we're going to try with the pedal. And I'm going, I'm going faster than I ever did before. Oh shit, this is, there's a bunch of columns that makes this tougher. And this, that, that hoop was actually moving to make it harder. I'm flying through all these columns while I'm trying to go to these hoops. You know, I said before, this is like pilot wings. Or, uh... Or it's like Superman 64. But it's better than Superman 64. Alright. I'm going toward a hoop that like... Oh, now they want me to... 
do a left turn to get to this one. The hoop I went through a second ago was uh, going up and down. It had its own, like, oh, where the fuck? Oh, I got to go down. Shit, I might miss it. Ah, shit, I missed it. I went into the water. God damn it. Ah. I'm all fucked up now. Sometimes it's hard to tell where the next one is. Oh, shit. Man, this is tough. This is not, not, not super easy at all. But there's uh when you look up to the sun, there's lens flare on your eye. And I'm, I'm running out of time. But I got to actually recenter. Like, the more you look around, the more your, your recentering gets screwed up. But I think I said before... I think this bird game has the least the least noticeable blur when you turn your head of all the stuff I've tried in, in Labo. Like everything else, it's like the blur is pretty bad, but this is actually not bad at all. I mean I mean it's worse than PC VR of course and, and PS VR, but you know. As far as uh, Labo VR goes, this is pretty good level of blur here. So yeah, this is cool. Um, alright, I think that's about it, I'm not gonna do any more of the pinwheel shit, so, uh, yeah, bird's cool, the elephant's cool, I didn't have any footage of the elephant, I didn't even think of that, of like, showing, um, you know, video of what was going on with this, but these games were really cool, the elephant games, I'm, I'll, I mean, I'm not going to go back to the Doodle game, because that's like a lesser version of Tilt Brush. So I would just use something like Tilt Brush if I wanted to do that. But I, I think I will go back to the Marble game, where you you use this to uh, to move platforms to try to get you know the marble to the, uh, the little goal. But what I think I would try is, instead of using this trunk, I would just like not use it at all. And I would try, I would try to just hold a Joy-Con, like just just in front of here and see if that'll work because then I would have more freedom of movement because this trunk like limits limits you a little bit um so yeah that's it uh I won't do another one of these Labo VR videos until Zelda and Mario come out so uh thanks for watching <laughs>